Today on the Joy of Editing, we're looking at the new Topaz Photo AI 2. This is the second version of Topaz Photo AI. It has some new features. We're going to take a look at those today. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Topaz Photo AI 2 is out. There's some new features here. We're going to take a look at them today. If you don't yet own Topaz Photo AI or you just want to renew your license, I have affiliate links in the description below. When you use my links, I make a small commission, and this helps me to keep tutorials coming your way. And when you do that, I thank you. On the screen right now, you can see the changes since the last update, version 1.5.4. This is version 2.0.0. And you can see what they've added here, added uh, version two of the sharpened standard model, added version two of the removed noise models. And this is what I want to look at today. They added adjust lighting enhancement and added balance color enhancement. This is brand new to Topaz Photo AI. And you could pause the video and take a look at all the other changes and fixes here and updates. Oh, and I almost forgot they added automate plugin for Photoshop, which allows for cropping and upscaling right inside of Photoshop. So that is a big update right there. I'm unable to show that to you today because it's not working on my iMac with an Intel processor. I put in a support ticket to Topaz, so hopefully they get that fixed in the next update. Uh, if you're having any issues with uh, this problem, the Automate not working in Photoshop for upscaling, let me know in the comments section below. Now, I did try it on my MacBook Air with an M1 processor, and it works perfectly. I really love it. As soon as I get that up and running, I'll show you how that works on a video. But today I want to look at adjust lighting. This is brand new. It's beta and balance color. What is this all about? I'm going to show you several examples here so we can really check it out. We're going to start out with this image. Now, this is one of the images Topaz used on their photo AI website. They have several you can download, but I thought I know somebody will say, well, why didn't you try it in some other type of images? And that's what I have. So I have four other images we could check this out on that have color and lighting issues. So let's check it out. Let's check out this uh, Topaz example first. Autopilot has already been run in this image. If I hover here, you can see that right here. And this looks a little different now. The Autopilot, I like the way this looks. And we have something else new here. If we come up here to Topaz Photo AI and go to Preferences, we have a lot more things we can set up in autopilot under upscale and resize. We have different things we can do. Like we've always had resize type, but we have, I think this is new default AI model. You can choose a model that you prefer to be used. I always leave mine set for auto, to be honest with you. But we have different parameters that we can set up here for minor denoise strength, minor deblur strength. And then we have a section for remove noise, non-raw, and we have drop downs and we can make adjustments here. I'm not going to get into all this today, but we have these different settings. It's pretty self-explanatory for raw files, remove raw noise. Again, we have a drop down here that we can change things and set it up the way we like it. So Topaz are giving us a lot of leeway here to set it up just the way we like it, which is really cool. And let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. And then default AI model we have you know we can choose raw normal or raw strong so that's pretty cool and then we have settings for sharp and blur again we have drop downs here as well as the AI model that we can choose so that is all pretty cool and we can ad adjust the model strength I just have mine all set up for default right now optimization for high quality images okay again a drop down here and then finally, we come to face detection. Now I have mine set up for low quality, and that is the recommended one that Topaz Photo AI recommends that we use. But that's that. But we have all these ways we can set up the autopilot, you know, for our workflow, what you like. And then you have to determine the way you want to set this all up. But I just have mine set up for default, and it's working really good for me. So, so far, I don't really see a need to change it. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is for now. And if I come up with a new way of doing it, I'll let you know in a future tutorial. I'm just going to either click cancel or you can click outside here and it will shut the preferences down. But check out the new preferences. Okay, so this is an interesting image. So it definitely has a lighting problem. So let's see what happens. Let's uh, click right here for adjust lighting and that will turn it on when you click right in this field or you can click the toggle to toggle it off or on. So now it's made its adjustment. 
Now, it always defaults at this setting of 25. This image was dark, so it lightened it up. But if you have an image that's too light, this setting of 25 will darken the image, which is kind of weird, meaning if you move this to the right, it would make the image darker. In this case, because the image was already dark and it lightened it, if I move this slider to the right, now the image gets lighter. But you'll see what I mean on a different example. But this default setting, I find, you know, it's never quite right. You may have to adjust it one way or the other. In this case, I would want to maybe lighten this a little more. So I'll drag this to the right. Now it's got to go ahead and run all its AI again before it lightens it up. So it takes a few seconds for that to happen. But let's say that looks good. But now we can see here, it definitely has a color issue. So let's go to balance color. And it basically works on color casts. So let's check that out next. So let me turn this one on. I can either click the toggle or click right here. Either way, it's going to turn this on and it'll run AI on it. But look at that. Look at that nice color balance. Now, if we click here and open this up, you can adjust the temperature or you could pull the opacity back if you need to. When working with balancing color and adjusting lighting, I like to use this button right here to give us a side by side view. This way you can really see what's happening on the image. And it's not a bad idea to uh, click right here for the percentages of the view and change this to fit so you can see the entire image. And that way you can really see what kind of a result you're getting on the overall image. And that looks really cool. Now let's go to our next image here. And it ran its autopilot on it already. And right now I'm still set up for fit. So we can see the before on the left and the after on the right. But let's try adjust lighting. Let's try that one first. So let me let me just click right here because if you click right here, this opens up the interface. So it's kind of nice. And now you can see it's enhancing it here. And now it's done. Now you see what I mean by the default setting of 25? That is way too strong. Now it lit up this image. So what I would need to do here is pull this one back. And I'm going to pull it back to maybe around 15 and it's gonna to have to render it out again. Now that looks pretty good right there. Yeah, that looks good. I think a little color balance, it's not bad, but let's uh, turn this on, let this run and see what it does here. I think you may like the result. Yeah, look at that. Everything just looks a lot better. So it's running AI on this image, and as you can see on the left is the before, on the right is after. So far I must say I'm pretty impressed with balancing color and adjusting lighting. Now let's go to our next image and that's this one right here. And as you can see, it's running autopilot on it. So we'll give it a second or two. Okay, so here we go. Now in this case, this image is too light, I think. So now let's see what happens when I turn this on. It should make this image darker. And there we can see it, but it also works with the contrast too. The contrast looks right. The contrast doesn't look good here. It is lacking contrast, but this image, the contrast looks good. Now here's what I was saying earlier. So this image actually became darker, right? It was too light and now it's darker. So you would think if you would move this adjustment slider to the right, you would lighten it, but you won't. It's the opposite. Whenever the image is too light and it darkens it, you'll actually have to move this slider to the left. I hope they change this because it doesn't make sense. But give it a second to render here. But you notice I moved it to the left, which will actually lighten it up a little bit. As you can see, now that looks good. It's a little bit lighter. But doing a great job. But I wish they would change the slider. Okay, let's look at another image. Let's try this one out here. Now this one has a really blue color cast, as you can see. Let's start with the balance color and then I'll play with the lighting next. So let me click right here and let it run through its AI adjustment and see what we get. Okay, so look at that color. Now, what we can do is if we feel it is too warm, this brings, this again is getting rid of the color cast, but we can still adjust temperature for our own personal taste. So I'm going to try to move this to the left a little bit like so. Just, to, you know, cool it down a little bit more. Give it a second or two to render out. Yeah, see, something like that. Now check this out. Let's play with the lighting. So let's click on Adjust Lighting, and it'll, it'll go ahead and run its AI on it here. Let's give it a second or two, and check that out. Now that looks really good. Now it lightened it up, so if I want to darken it, now remember that it defaults to 25. It doesn't mean that's the right value. You have to make the adjustment here. So in my case, I think it's too light. So I would drag this to the left and let it render out and see if I can get this looking right. See if I can get it on the first try. 
I might just go a little bit darker. So I'll move it to the left a little bit more. But here it is. So on the left is the before, on the right is the after. So far, adjust lighting and balancing color, I think are really great additions to Topaz Photo AI. Let's try our last image here. I think these are dahlias. These are all stock images, by the way. I was looking for stock images with lighting and color balance problems. So let's uh, try the balance color first, see if we can balance out this color. So I'll click on it and we'll let it render. But I thought it'd be interesting for you today just to see some different examples. But check that out. That looks pretty good. Now let's adjust the lighting. So let me click adjust lighting and let it run its adjust lighting on here and see what it does. Will it lighten it up? I think it's going to lighten it up. Give it a second or two here. And yes, it lit it up. But I like it. So far, I'm really enjoying adjusting lighting and balancing color here in Photo AI 2. Let me know in the comments section below what you think. Topaz, I think, are really moving in the right direction. Well, there it is, everyone. That was a first look at Topaz Photo AI 2. Hey, if you enjoyed today's first look, please give it a like, share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to the channel, please subscribe. Click the bell notification icon, and then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.